The Sony VPO XW5000ES is an exceptional projector design for video files and home theater enthusiasts, boasting advanced features and cutting edge technology. As an entry level model from Sony's laser lineup, it performs like a flagship projector, offering outstanding image quality, versatility, and robust performance. In this review, we'll delve into the key features, performance, and overall user experience of the Sony VPO XW5000ES projector. Welcome back to Home Theater Review. I'm your host, Jordan Andrew. The Sony VPO XW5000ES features a sleek and modern design that exudes elegance and professionalism. Its compact form factor allows for easy installation and integration into various environments. The projector is sturdily built with high quality materials, ensuring durability and longevity. All right, so on the front, we have our lens cover. And one thing that I'm kind of disappointed on this is that, you know, it's, there's no mechanical, electric, whatever you want to call it, lens cover or lens shift. So, you know, that kind of sucks, especially since, you know, the price point, but it is their entry level. So I think the 6,000 might have it, but on the front, you have your lens cover and it just comes off super easy. So then you have your, your lens and then it looks like you got some vent covers on the front, on the left and right for heat dissipation. So this is the back of the 5000 ES. So it looks like we got some more ventilation on the back. And what's interesting about this is that the HDMI ports and stuff that I'm going to show you, they're actually on the side instead of on the back. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I think it probably might be a little bit better that could, because that means if you have this in a hush box or a shelf like I do, you know, you can push this thing a little bit further back. You still want to leave some room obviously for the vents so that it can, you know, have proper ventilation. But let's take a look at the side. All right, so on the side you have your power button and then you have your input and then you have a menu button, enter button, and then you have your lens. So this is manual. So that's the only thing that sucks. I really don't like having to do manual controls. But the good thing with that is, you know, with some of the, like the Epson that has everything's electronic, motorized, Sometimes, even though you lock the settings, it does move, and I can confirm that it's happened to me numerous times. But I don't know if you can see the bottoms. Let me see if I can hold it up and show you where the where all the ports are. All right, so on the bottom we have our Ethernet, and then we have an HDMI one, an HDMI two, and we have a trigger, infrared blaster in, remote, and then we have another USB, and then our power access port is right here on the very bottom in the corner and then if we take a look at our remote we have some buttons we have a light input power and then you have film one film two so that's probably you know your different video settings that you can use to you know get the the look that you want and then you've got ref i don't know if that stands for reference or not tv photo game and then you've got Cine, I believe, TV, some user profiles, and then you've got your aspect ratio, and you've got color space, color temp, color correction, gamma correction, contrast enhancer, reality creation, and then you've got some plus or minus controls for sharpness, brightness, and contrast. I wouldn't say setup is overly complicated, nor would I describe it as a cakewalk. This is because unlike Epson projectors, which give you a mechanical lens, the 5000 ES is all manual. So be prepared to spend a lot of time adjusting height levels with the feet if you're sitting this on a flat surface, like inside of a hush box, or you're gonna be mounting this on a ceiling mount, all the controls are manual. So no lens memory, no digital zoom. One of the standout features of the VPO XW5000ES is the exceptional image quality. With a native resolution of 4K Ultra HD or 3840 by 2160 pixels and a premium laser light source, the 5000ES delivers breathtakingly sharp and detailed visuals. The projector utilizes Sony's advanced XSRD panel technology, which enhances color accuracy, contrast, and black levels. 
The result is vivid and lifelike imagery with rich colors and deep blacks. Additionally, the high brightness rating of 2000 lumens ensures excellent visibility in a light controlled home theater space. One thing to note about the 5000 ES is that there is no support for HDMI 2.1. Only HDMI 2.0 is supported. For most home theater enthusiasts though, HDMI 2.0 is more than sufficient for movies and TV shows. However, if you're an avid gamer looking to play your games at 4K 120, then this isn't going to be the projector for you. The performance of the VPO XW5000ES is nothing short of impressive. After all, it is a Sony display. It utilizes a powerful laser light source that offers consistent brightness and eliminates the need for lamp replacements. This not only ensures maintenance free operation, but also provides a longer lifespan for the projector. Up to 20,000 hours of lamp life. The projector supports HDR or high dynamic range content, allowing for a wider range of brightness levels and improved contrast. It also supports IMAX Enhanced. Now, if you don't know what IMAX Enhanced is, IMAX Enhanced is a licensing and certification program for high-end TVs and projectors. It meets a carefully prescribed set of performance requirements from IMAX and DTSS engineers and Hollywood's leading technical specialists to deliver the same IMAX quality you get in theaters on the big screen, but digitally remastered to bring you high quality and shot 4K HDR images with powerful, immersive sound in your home. All right, so we know the 5000 ES is an exceptional projector, but how does it stack up against other projectors in its same price class, specifically the Epson LS12000B? On the right, we have the Epson LS12000B, and on the left, we have the Sony 5000 ES. Now, both of these projectors are laser projectors, and the lamp life or the lamp life on both are rated up to 20,000 hours. Now, obviously, that's going to depend on which you know what setting you 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 are watching on. If you're watching on the highest setting all the time, but 20,000 hours, that's I mean, you're probably going to keep these things, one of these things, for years and years and years to come. It's not like a bulb where you have to replace it. So good. As far as light output, so. The Epson 12,000, LS12000 has light output of 2,700 lumens for, I believe, color and white. So 2,700 lumens versus 2,000 lumens. And the contrast ratio on this, I believe, is 2.5 million to 1. This one is infinite. I don't know what that means. That's just what it says on the website. So, you know, maybe you can reach out to Sony and find out what that means. So 2700 lumens output, it's going to get really, really, really bright on the Epson and then 2000 lumens on the Sony. So the Sony, you know, it gets beat there. It doesn't have as many lumens, still should look really good, you know, but let's see resolution. This one is a 4k E shift, which the E shift has been improved over the previous versions. I think this one, does like four times it shifts the pixels or something or stretches the pixels or something like that but this is e shift so it does you know 4k this one is native 4k so no e shifting this is straight out of the box so this one's probably going to have a better picture than the epson but the epson still still looks very very good like i was very impressed when i was when i was using this all right what about dolby vision well, as you know, there is no projectors, long throw projectors that support Dolby Vision. However, this one supports HDR10+, Plus, so that's Dolby Vision's direct competitor. HDR10+, Plus is open sourced. However, I believe this one, uh, HDR10+, Plus is only capable of 10-bit color versus Dolby Vision that's 12-bit color. This does not support HDR10+, Plus. however, it does support IMAX Enhanced. Now, I think there's still some not a lot known about IMAX Enhanced versus something like HDR10 Plus or Dolby Vision, but you know you still should get a really good picture with this. All right, tone mapping. So the Sony has its own tone mapping, and you know each company calls their tone mapping something different. The Epson has HLG, I forget what it's called, but they both do some level of tone mapping. I'm assuming that the Sony is going to look much better with the the tone mapping than you know, your Epson, especially since this is going to be native 4K, and we all know Sony makes amazing displays.
Sony has ensured that the VPO XW5000ES is versatile and easy to install. However, there is no motorized lens shift, zoom, or focus features here, which may turn some consumers off, especially when you consider the price point. The projector also includes a variety of connectivity options, including HDMI, VGA, and LAN, enabling seamless integration with various devices and systems. The user experience with the VPO XW5000ES is exceptional. The projector comes with an intuitive and user-friendly interface, making it easy to navigate through the settings and options. The remote control provides convenient access to all the essential functions, while the inclusion of RS-232 and LAN ports allows for advanced control and integration with home automation and whole home systems. The Sony 5000ES offers several noteworthy features that enhance its overall appeal. With its black chassis, it includes a built-in edge blending capability, which allows for seamless projection onto curved or regular screens. Furthermore, it features a wide lens shift range, enabling versatile installation options without compromising image quality. The Sony 5000ES is a top-of-the-line entry-level laser projector offering that excels in all areas of performance, image quality, and versatility. Its 4K resolution and Ultra HD compatibility and robust laser light source ensure stunning visuals with the ease of installation and user-friendly interface that makes it suitable for high-end home theater applications and delivers an unparalleled viewing experience. Without a doubt, the Sony 5000ES is an investment worth considering for those seeking the pinnacle of projection technology. Finally, would we recommend the Sony 5000ES? Yes. While many other projector companies are offering pixel shifting to reach 4K status, Sony gives you a true native 4K laser offering with a host of options to customize your video file needs to your heart's desire. And as long as your setup doesn't require HDMI 2.1 for gaming at 4K 120, the 5000ES should be more than capable at meeting all of your home theater video file demands. So that is our review of the Sony 5000ES native 4K laser projector. If you want to check out the written review of the 5000ES, then head on over to hometheaterreview.com. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss when Home Theater Review uploads new content. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.